Hello and welcome to the Growth Podcasts. Here is your host, RJ. Hello and welcome back to the Growth Podcast. You know, so much has happened over the last couple of months and years. I would say the last two years since 2020, since we've experienced this pandemic. And today I want to speak about a little bit about emotions. And I want to focus on the five emotions that could be stopping you from living your dreams. You know, hurtful memories can stifle your development and growth. How do we break through this insidious mental conditioning? How do we grow and develop beyond hurtful episodes that bury themselves in our subconscious and influence our lives? How do we change and grow so that we can live our dreams? The first step is to break the hold of these inhibiting influences from the past. Recognize them, then either get rid of them or turn them into a positive force that pushes you ahead rather than holds you back. Identify these inhibiting memories in your life so that you can control them rather than allowing them to control you. Did someone hurt your feelings? Forgive them and forget it. Move on. Did someone punish you unfairly? It's over. It's done. Go on. The Growth Podcasts, broadcasting worldwide. To get all the free resources you need to grow your business, visit www.onlinegrowthchannel.com www.onlinegrowthchannel.com for 100% free resources. Let us look at some of the most common emotions that burrow into the subconscious and impede our growth as individuals. The first emotion is anger. This is a natural response to perceived attack or injury. It makes energy flow, but when allowed to simmer, it depletes energy that could be used to improve your life. If you hold your anger for more than a week, it is only hurting you. Make yourself let go. Envision yourself throwing it out. Ease your mind. Transform your anger into positive motivation. Don't get mad. Get motivated. That is the first emotion that we will need to work on, anger. Secondly, the second emotion is revenge. This is the first cousin of anger. It also robs you of strength in the long run. The person who has injured you has probably gone on with life. So should you. Don't let the injury hurt you further by inhibiting your growth. Lose it or use it. Instead of saying, I'll give them, say, I'll show them, I'll be somebody. That is how we handle the revenge and anger. You are listening to the Growth Podcasts. Are you interested in doing an online tourism business course? Please visit tourismbusinessonline.com, tourismbusinessonline.com. For affordable and quality websites, visit www.ogcwebsiteagency.com, www.ogcwebsiteagency.com. The third emotion I want to look at is sadness. This is more crippling than anger because it drains you from the start, sapping your will to go on. You probably will have to let this drain away slowly at its own pace. Time heals, but if the sadness seems to linger, consciously force it out. Seek out things that make you laugh and feel positive about life. Realize that feeling sad will not change anything. Seek peace of mind as you write. Don't let sadness cripple you. Don't let sadness take your life over. Let us look at the fourth emotion that really prevents us from living our dreams. And this is resentment. Life is not always fair. It is unrealistic to feel any other way and holding on to resentment is no way to fight back. Drop it and get back into the battle. Resentment will just hold you back. So let it go and get on with life. Then, 
the last emotion that I want to look at, that stifles our ability to live our dreams, that impacts on the ability of us to move forward, is guilt. You know, guilt is another emotion that stands between you and your dreams. All of us have done things we feel bad about and regret. Things we would do differently. Many of us carry that guilt around and it keeps us from moving forward. Don't let people put you on a guilt trip. Say to yourself, when somebody's putting you on the defensive, no matter what you do or say to me, I'm still a worthwhile person. Don't let guilt take away your self-worth, your self-value. Do away with it. Say to yourself that you are worthy. You are listening to The Growth Podcasts. Visit www.ogcvideoagency.com for high-quality short videos to market your services or products on social media. www.ogcvideoagency.com To rid yourself of these past emotions, put them in a perspective that is positive rather than negative, and thereby cut off the painful roots in your subconscious. Reinterpret the past with these methods. Get better, not bitter. Let me repeat that. Get better, not bitter. Find a quiet, comfortable place. Sit back and relax. Think about something or someone who caused you pain or disappointment. Now, take a mental step back from that feeling and the situation. Assess it. Did the emotions that resulted make you stronger? After you have assessed it, did they give you determination? Can you use those memories to empower you rather than to drain you? So, why let them hurt you further? Use the power of positivity to overcome these emotions and move forward. That brings us to the end of this episode. Please like or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and podcast platforms. The Growth Podcasts is broadcasted once weekly, every Thursday at 3 p.m. Beijing time, GMT plus 8. Until next time, please stay safe and be blessed. Till we meet again.